In this demonstration, we're going to show how we can take a piece of rusted iron and place it in a solution of sodium hydroxide with a carbon rod connected to the positive of a transformer. And we connect the negative end to the metal. Now, I've used a pretty high over voltage. I've got it set to about 20 volts to speed up the reaction. Uh, but when uh, I understand that when museum curators do this, they use much lower voltages and they allow the process to take place for over a much longer period of time. The reason being that uh, they don't want to aggressively reduce the oxides on the uh, on the artifact because it might cause pitting. But we're doing it at an accelerated rate. You can see that it's fizzing vigorously from the from the high voltage that's being applied to it. And what's happening is the iron atoms are being reduced back to metallic iron, and the oxygen atoms are probably being ripped off the oxide of the iron by the high voltage. The carbon rod doesn't appear to be subject to degradation. I suppose the um, oxidation potential is higher than water. I haven't looked it up specifically, but the the graphite rod doesn't appear to erode under the high voltage, although it's definitely breaking down water molecules as well. If you were to do this over a longer period of time, you would place the voltage just at the threshold of where iron will reduce so that you don't get other side reactions and you're less likely to get erosion of the metal. Okay, I've done that for several seconds. I'm going to flip it over now so the other end gets it. <clears throat> Once the process is over, we wash off the sodium hydroxide in the beaker of water. And it seems to form a sort of coating on there, but it's not very hard to remove with some steel wool. You get the clean surface showing through again. By comparison, you can look at the piece that has not undergone the treatment. You see that the iron is restored to its uh, normal state.